So the Bears started on the 20. They've picked up two first downs out to the 48. The uh, center is senior Eric Dahl. Kirby back to pass, guns it down the field, caught at the 35-yard line. Wes Miller, the tight end, down to the Penguins, 32. Two receivers left. Dotson is in the slot, Saffold to the left. Back to pass is Kirby. He will throw the deep post for the end zone. Has a man, and it is caught for a touchdown. Canarius Dotson. The field judge waited to make sure he controlled the ball to the ground. The ball kind of was being impeded by that north wind, but Dotson had separation, and he was able to pluck it off his shoe tops and curl around and come up with the ball in the end zone. I cannot possibly describe the athleticism of Kadarius Dotson in making that catch. Fourth and two at midfield. You don't get this. You give a fairly short field to the other team, and we'll see if the Bears really go through with it. Game clock a minute 10, play clock 19. Kirby does take the snap, steps up. He throws deep, going for it, single coverage, and caught! Went over the shoulder, catch at the 15-yard line and out of bounds. Kadarius Dotson, you talk about rolling the dice on fourth and two at midfield. They don't just go for the first down, they went for it all, and they got a big chunk of yard. Two receivers right, one to the left. Second and 11 for the Bears on the Youngstown 44-yard line. Just over eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Wes Miller tight end on the left side. Otherwise, the customary tackle-to-tackle -tackle offensive line. Kirby takes the snap. Pressure up the middle. Throws down the middle. And Dotson makes a fingertip pitch on the post pattern and down to the 20-yard line. And backs in the eye, double tight end set. They're going to try to power Oh, they fumble the ball in the end zone. There's a scramble on. A touchdown, Missouri State. Adam Beecham comes out of there with the football, and disaster strikes Youngstown. Right when we said, well, all they've been doing is not making mistakes, they make a big mistake. And fumble on the exchange, and it's recovered in the end zone at their own 32-yard line. Hess in the shotgun. Nick Hess, the redshirt freshman from Dayton. Crowd getting into it now. And the Bears defense exhorting and encouraging them. They're making noise. Play clock at eight. Cook to the right of Hess. There's the snap. Hess takes it. He will step up, throw. Intercepted at the 38. Beats him to the 30. 25. The quarterback. The only man to get him at the 10, at the 5. And it is a touchdown! Nick Hess threw it right to Adam Beecham, whom we have incorrectly credited with the touchdown fumble recovery, but he earns one here as the senior takes it to the house, and the Bears have come back from the get the dead to take the lead 20 to 17. What a turnaround. Adam Beecham had the ball right in his numbers, and the kid knew exactly what to do with it, head the other way, and he did, and he also broke a couple tackles to do it. This is the first time they've gone for it on fourth down. Fourth and a full yard to go. Cook gets the call. He is hit. I don't know. He tried to dent the right side. The Bears are signaling, let's go south. We'll see what the spot of the ball is. These two teams obviously have a difference of opinion as to whether or not this is a first down and a very crucial decision. It's Bears ball. They have held at the 44-yard line. So the Bears have moved the ball almost without fail since late in the first quarter. Hand off to Douglas. Stretch play left side. He accelerates. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! And it's Douglas! So third and 12, and they'll crank the clock with three minutes and 50 seconds to go. And the, the danger here for the Bears is they, they you mean, you, you got to milk the clock, but you got to continue pushing forward and keep the ball. Low snap. Kirby rolling to his right. He throws long downfield, wide open, Saffold catches it, touchdown! He takes the snap, drops back, steps up. He is rolling, he throws, broken up and intercepted! At the 30, that's Canavan, the freshman, inside the 20 and down to the 17. Bears had three defenders in the area, they bat the ball up in the air.